Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Log out. Here we are going to import the login. Here log out. In the first case we go for call to copy. And this is call to existing. Which is nothing but sharing. Okay this is call to copy. And call to existing. Where should we need the permission? The permission is needed here in the second case. We should make this log out as reusable. This is our design. Clear everybody? We are going to create two files, Neha and Lavanya. Neha will contain the login and logout. Lavanya will contain the open order. Lavanya is going to borrow this login using call to copy. Means it is going. she is going to maintain her own copy over here by copying this login. In the call to existing, she is trying to share this logout functionality. But if she has to share, Neha has to give the permission. She has to make this logout as reusable. Clear everybody? Login is not reusable. Why should we make it reusable? We are only copying it, right? We are not sharing it with each other. Okay? Maintenance problem also is solved here. I showed you, right? Ritu? See, maintenance problem is solved long back. Okay, do you see here? If we are having, you know, recorded in single file and then, you know, we are borrowing it in the different files, obviously your maintenance problem is solved. Okay. Now let's implement the same thing in the QTP. Okay. So we will first create a file called as Neha. And to create that file, I will go for a new file. Okay. I don't want to change, make the changes here. First, I will prepare one new file called as Neha. Okay, wherein I will record the login and logout. How do we record? As usual, okay. Click on the record button and then start recording. Don't do it. Just observe. Then I will give you time later. You can practice it. So the new file is open over here. Click on the record button. And wait till, okay, Windows application. Click on OK. My QTP is in the record mode. Do you see here in the bottom? It is in the recording mode. Then I open the application from my start. I go to programs, then I have the QTP sample application, flight. Okay, this is coming up very slow, no problem. We will go slow only so that everybody understands. Then we enter the mercury. And then click on OK button. Do you see all the steps are getting recorded? This is your login. Okay, login is over. 
how do we log out very simple click on close this is my log out okay there is no separate log out button over here so i simply click on close and then it logs out then stop okay this is our login and which is our logout here okay we will save it save the file as neha okay save it okay it is saved now tell me other thing um lavanya doesn't want to borrow the entire you know book qa material or you know entire book from neha she wants only few pages sam what should neha do she doesn't want a complete book okay lavanya doesn't want a complete book she wants only the few pages or let's say the second half of the book what is the option for neha she has to cut her book into two halves and give her right that is the only option okay fine okay leave that so here now this entire thing we have recorded in the single um file okay if i want to import only the login how should i import it do you see they are in the single file okay the lines are like one after the other who is going to tell the qtp that up to line number 6 it is login and from the line number 7 or 8 onwards it is log out how should we do it okay are you getting the uh, situation over here just by writing this login and log out and by giving the space your qtp doesn't understand okay that you know these two are separate these two functionalities are separate for your qtp it is still you know it is a sequential step of statements over here so now how do i tell the qtp okay i want only the login please you know borrow only the login how should i tell that for that i have to split the file okay i got to split the file into two blocks the first block is login second block is logout okay what should i do now this is a sequential thing right i can't you know tell qtp uh, borrow the login and log out here no doubt you know we have separated like this but this is just a space or you know one line gap we have given your qtp still doesn't understand so what we do is we create two separate blocks like this this is one block this is another block so whenever i want login i will only borrow the login block if i want logout block i will log i will you know borrow the logout block now the next question is how to do the splitting and if you observe here in the keyword view this entire script is in the same action okay is it possible that you know we can separate in the two different blocks okay means we are going to create the two actions over here okay madhu has a question why should we split okay see here madhu because file 2 doesn't want to you know borrow both of them at a time we have to borrow one at a time if we borrow this entire thing what happens we have the open order here either your login and logout will be coming here or they will be here if they are together but we do not want it like this if we split it i can call the login wherever i want i can call the logout wherever i want i can do anything right so for that we are going to use the split okay and each of this block okay we call it as one action think the commands like i said you it is not going to do any kind of splitting okay okay just wait i think you know this has got stuck a bit
Okay, just wait for some time. Okay, so the first block of code we will make it as one action. The second block of code we will make it as second action. Okay, how to separate these into two actions? For that, from where exactly do I want to split? I want to split from here, line number 8. Okay, this got slow. Okay, let's give it some time. I don't know why this is happening. Yes, Lavanya, I will unmute you, but you got to wait. Okay, one second, wait. I think my system is getting heated up. Okay, so here I want to split from here. This logout I want to put it in one action. Login should become another action. So I got to place my cursor exactly here. Okay, then after this we got to use the split. Split is not appearing here. Tools, uh, let me check where it is. Okay, here it is. It should have, yeah. Okay, no problem. Do you see? So we, here we have the split action. If I place my cursor over here from the line number 7, I got to split it. Okay? So for the split, we have this button over here which says split action. Okay? I want to split from line number 7, so I place the cursor over there and then click on split. Then the split action window opens. Do you see we have two actions over here? Action 1 and action 2. Action 1 is what? Login. What does it do? Logs into the application. Okay. And what is this logout going to do? Logout. Logs out of application clear we have the login and logout all right click on ok okay ritu nested is nothing but one um, action will become the child of other action okay so do you see here if you click on this drop box we have login and logout they are split if I click login there, you will be able to see login. If I click logout, you will be only able to see the logout. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side 
Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.